Hello everyone, this is Gussie. We're in a UFO sightings daily.com. Sorry, I'm having a little trouble with my screen recorder. I'll get it done. Here it is. Uh, this is a UFO that I found on Raigu asteroid. It's pretty extraordinary. It's very long. And uh, as you see, it is really, really kind of cool. Now, I can move it back and forth, but I'm hoping it doesn't freeze up because it, it, I made it really big. It was very small earlier. Uh, here is the bigger GIF I made, and I'll put it on my website so you can just pull it, pick it up, drop it off, and uh, make your own video or whatever you want to do. The UFO is right here. It's spinning around. You actually have to pick it up like this, drop it under your desk, and click on it to open it up. And once you open up the GIF, it'll look a little bit like this. Okay. And you look for the picture that you want, click on it, and this one will show up, or whichever one you wish will show up. Now, this kind of cool. It's, it's really neat. Look at this. I mean, it's a really good detail of a UFO. Now, on my on the website where I got this from, it's a planetary society uh, run and controlled by NASA. And I'll put the link in my UFO blog so you can find it. And it talks about this. It talks about this as a model made, th a 3D model made from the photos uh, of... Uh, Mascot's uh, separation of the Haibu Bisca 2 provided. I'm never going to be able to say those words. Anyway, you can check that out later. It, it's kind of cool. Here is my uh, UFO website. I talk about Raigu and a face I found on Raigu asteroid from the Japanese information. Uh, however, however, the UFO looks very similar to one I found uh, about 2013. And look at this, size of this UFO is long and it has an L-shaped arm here and kind of a, a huge, huge area. It looks like it's a, a black, um, clear, transparent sunglasses kind of a sunroof area where people can look up and see through. Look at that. I colored it so you can see it better. So this is an original uh, NASA photograph here, which is from... Uh, uh, oh, the website's down here. You can check that out. But, uh, okay, let's run back over here. This is the GIF. Now, I enlarged the GIF to make it uh, easier to see, and I can make it much, much larger than this, of course. But uh, I will put close-ups of that particular GIF. I will put close-ups of the GIF on our uh, website so you can see them. And uh, we will try to show you some of the close-ups. Let's take one, let's take this one right here, right here. Let's go back a little bit. Sorry, it's a little laggy. No, go back a little bit more to number 21. Look at that thing. It's lagging. That's how big I made it. Okay. All right. I'm going to pick this up, pick it up, drop it on my computer, and it might or might not. Yes, it worked. Okay, good. Now, what we're going to do is just try to zoom in a little bit on this but I think zooming will create it make it out of focus a little bit so let's uh, adjust the size to 2 makes it a little bit bigger 100% bigger and that's kind of cool so you see this very long UFO hiding among these rocks and everything now the detail is very poor so let's take a computer program and yeah, I was looking at the, a crater earlier, so that's what we got in there. Okay, there we are. Let's zoom in, pick it up. Uh, this is Photoscape X. I'm going to move it over here a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Let's see if we sharpen, I think we'll lose the detail. Let's go down to dehaze. Okay, that gives us a little bit more detail. It looks like the UFO is being covered over here and covered over here a little bit. Obviously, a failed attempt to hide it. But in the center of the UFO, in the center of this UFO is the black window that I showed you earlier. Uh, see the black window up on top of this one. Okay, see the black window right here. 
the black window is because uh, a lot of the aliens, like the greys for instance, have uh, an upper eyelid which is like sunglasses. They can open and close them to protect their eyes from bright light. So that's what I believe this one to be also. And let's see if we can make it a little bit more dehaze. Well, a little bit more details coming out. You can see the shape better, the original shape and everything. They're hiding it between two rocky cliffs. Uh, that's pretty awesome. That's really exciting. I just found this tonight. Uh, I was looking for something else about Ken Johnson, and instead I found uh, some information about Raigu Crater. That's how it kind of goes with this, this kind of research. Uh, one thing can lead to another and to another, and suddenly, boom, uh, chaos theory works, and you find the evidence you wanted in a totally wrong place. <laughs> okay, let's try to sharpen this a little bit. Can't do it. Okay, let's put it back to original. Okay, sharpen. Nope. Nope. Oh my god, that's too much. Let's put it back to where it was. Yeah, we could see much more detail right here. Dehaze one more time. Okay, apply that. And uh, let's hit negative. Wow. Kind of cool. Okay, let's undo a little bit. Now hit negative. Now cancel. Undo all and hit negative. See what happens. Negative really shows you the area of the object. You can't see this side and this side very well because there it looks like there's a landslide that happened over the last, what, thousands of years that this thing was parked there. Uh, ships get abandoned and left there. It's like a junkyard, you know. They can come back and recycle it anytime they want. Uh, okay, let's drop this down. Like I said, this will be at UFO Sightings Daily site. Uh, this is a similar object I found on the moon. Very similar. Very, 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 very similar. Uh, but, let's look at the original. This is a lar enlarged original of it, which is very hard to see. Yes, I know. So if you stop it, click on it, and this is what you'll see. You'll see all the photos on the left, and uh, you can pick and choose the particular one you want. Let's look at this one right here. This is number 19. It's right before this one. And it's coming. It's just a little laggy. Probably coming. Okay. Let's go to 18 then. There it goes. And you can jump to any one you see you want. And you see with 18 there's a little bit more detail at the center. It looks almost like a white pyramid. Uh, very similar to the white structure on Ceres. Um, so there Depending on the angle of the UFO gives us different, look at the detail in the center though, what is that? Uh, gives us different detail, so. Alright guys, this is Scott C. Waring of UFOSightingsDaily.com. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll make more videos for you very soon. Alright, take it easy. Thank you.